Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through TCP by IP protocol. So TCP is nothing but transmission control protocol guys. IP is nothing but inter internet process protocols. Fine. Okay. So in this lecture, we'll be going through the model of it guys. So that in the previous lecture, we have gone through OSI model, right? So the similar model is divided or combined guys. So basically this is only having four layers guys. So this will be our first layer, second layer, third layer and these two combinedly fourth layer fine so tcp slash ip model is having only four layers but basically this contains all the different protocols guys so in our previous lecture i, have to, I told you that we gave some explanation of protocols we gave just basics right so what are the different protocols that a particular layer or a combination of layers has we'll be discussing in this lecture guys okay so this we will be calling them as application layer completely and this is nothing but your transport layer this we will be calling it as internet layer or internal layer and this we will be calling as network access layer because they will be connecting to so network access layer okay so now let us go through the theory so that you'll be having some idea so tcp slash ip means transmission control protocol and internet protocol okay it is the network model used for used in the current internet architecture so even in our current generation we are using this internet architecture only the TCP slash IP model okay protocols are set protocols so your question will be what is a protocol in our PLC also I told you about protocols right so protocols are nothing but the set of rules which describes the movement of data between the source and destination or in the internet so protocols are nothing but the rules like how should go it should go where should go those are nothing but the protocols okay so now let us go through the simplified diagram i have just told you right application layer will be having application layer presentation layer and session layer transport layer will be having transport layer internet layer or inner layer will be having network layer and network access layer will be having data link layer and physical layer this is not internal it is internet guys i missed the word okay fine so now let us go through one after the other so that we will be having a clear idea so the first layer that we will be discussing is nothing but network access layer the bottom layer guys okay so a network access layer is the lowest layer of tcp slash ip model a network access layer is a combination of physical layer and data link layer defined in the OSI model. So all the functionalities of data link layer and the physical layer in the OSI model will be done by this network access layer. Okay. So if the question is asked, you can write about those things also. It's fine. So it defines how the data should be sent from physically through the network. So I told you the physical layer. What is the work of the physical layer? Guys, it transmits the data between the physical layers. Fine. So through some cables like wired connections or Wi-Fi or sorry Wi-Fi it's not Wi-Fi it is radioactive waves or in terms of fiber optical waves fine so in that way it is going to transfer transmit the data so transmission of data between two devices is done with the done here fine so protocols like Ethernet FF FDII e, etc are used here guys okay so Ethernet is nothing but which we will be connecting to transfer the data using cables for our from our laptop to system or laptop to laptop or system to system fine okay so now let us go through internet layer so from the name itself we can say internet layer so here we will be having some internet protocols and everything fine okay so internet layer so internet layer is nothing but a network layer guys basically if we recall the trans if we recall the osi model in that it is network layer okay so an internet layer is the second layer of tcp slash ip model and internet layer is also called as a network layer and the main responsibility of this layer is to send the packets from the network okay so it collects the packets and it transmits the packets to the receivers fine okay so in this we will be having an important thing that we will be calling it as ip address so remember that ip address is a unique code which is assigned for a particular users okay so ip protocol it is used here to identify the receiver okay so it's network etc so to identify those things we'll be using this ip addresses guys so now let us go through the transport layer i told the transport layer is as usual here so transport layer in our previous lecture in osi model we have gone through transport layer right so we discussed about ucp and udp protocols so those same protocols will be revising here again so the transport layer is responsible for the reliability flow control and correctness of the data okay and we use two protocols here those are nothing but tcp that is nothing but transmission control protocol and udp that is nothing but user datagram protocol so here in this we will be sending the feedback that is nothing but we will be saving the save point at which we closed it here we will be not sending the save point or we will not send the save point guys fine okay so tcp is slower than udp 
UDP is faster than TCP. Feedback is provided. Feedback is not provided. Lost data can be retracted because we are sending the feedback. Here we cannot retract. So the best example will be mail and file transfer for protocol. Here the best example will be your web castings and uh, movies and songs. Fine. Okay. So now let us continue with the application layer. So application layer is one of the most important layer in this file transfer protocol guys. Because all the lay all the commands or all the protocols are available in this layer only. So application layer is the topmost layer of TCP protocol. This layer allows the user to interact with the application guys. Okay. So few popular protocols here are these are the few popular protocols guys. HTTP is nothing but hyper. Just give me a second guys. HTTP is I think we have discussed this already guys. Yes, we have discussed it. See here. So web, for in web surfing, we have discussed in application layer, we have discussed guys. So HTTP is nothing but hypertext transfer protocol with security means we will be calling it as HTTPS. Okay. So to ensure the security between the transfers between the two devices or through internet, we'll be using this HTTP. So this is commonly observed when you are surfing in web, like each and every website will be having any of these things. If it is secure, it will be having us. If it is not so secure, it will be not having us. Fine. Okay. So now let us go through SNMP. So SNMP is nothing but simple network management protocol. So here will you will be managing the network. So SNMP stands for simple network management protocol. It is used to manage the devices connected through internet. So if there are n number of devices connected through internet, so this protocol will take care of those things guys. So let us continue. SMTP. SMTP stands for simple mail transfer protocol. This also we have discussed guys. To transfer mails between two users, you will be using this SMTP protocol. And now FTP, FTP we have discussed this also, file transfer protocol. Whenever you want to connect to two devices and transfer the data, we will be using this file transfer protocol. So use it to transfer data between or files between two files, two computers. So Telnet, Telnet we have discussed in the previous lecture, yes. Telnet is an attribute of terminal networks guys. So we will be having the concept of terminal networks in which we will be using this Telnet and everything. So these are used for establishing the connection between the remote devices, which are not in the cable connections. Fine. Okay. So the last important thing is DSN guys. Sorry, DNS. So DNS server. I hope everyone remembers the DSN, DSN, DSN. Sorry, DNS, DNS, DNS. Fine. So the full form of DNS is nothing but domain name system. So basically each and every website will be having a particular IP address guys. So basically we need to type the IP address, but we will be giving the IP address a name that is nothing but your domain name we will be calling it as. So this process we will be calling it as domain name search system. So in that we will be assigning our IP address to that name. So whenever you type the name, you will be re redirected to the IP address. So basically remembering name is really easy than the numbers, right? So IP address. So that is the reason why we will be using this guys. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the differences between OSI model and TCP model. Thank you. Thanks for watching.